Jeffree Star concealer and setting powder are going powder are going to arrive. <gasps> wow, it sounds like it's here. <laughs> oh, you don't have bedroom door delivery. It's for VIP members only. the Jeffree Star Cosmetics new concealer and setting powder. Hi everyone, welcome back. Same channel, different video. My name is Anna K. if you are new here. Hi, hello, good morning. Do you wanna to subscribe to uh, my channel? It would really help me out. Um, yeah. Do it as a favor to me. I hope you liked today's intro, the little skit I did. If you like me to see you do more things like that, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you hated it, it's your choice, but it's it's the wrong one. Okay, so for today's video, I am doing a first impressions and review of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer and Setting Powder. I've literally had these for over a month and I haven't used them because I've been waiting to film this video, but I didn't want to film it. I mean, I didn't have time to film it until right now. So we're really late to the party, but it's fine. Before we start using the products, I need to prime uh, my face and put foundation on it. Today I'm gonna use the ColourPop All Star, I don't know why I put my hand there, I don't know if this helps at all, Matte and Blur Primer. I really love this stuff. Um, I think it always makes my face feel very smooth and like hydrated before I put on foundation. I would like to clarify, like I do in every beauty video that I do, I am in no way a uh, makeup guru as they say i am a wannabe makeup guru there is a difference by a lot and that difference is i am not as talented at my makeup my technique may not be the right one so in other words don't come for me um i'm just an average consumer of makeup i do have a lot of makeup in my opinion anyway and I know what I like and I know what I don't like. For foundation today, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. It works, I don't know if you've ever used this, but it works really well with the primer that it comes with. I know that several people said they don't like the ColourPop foundation, but I like it, and especially when you use it with the ColourPop primer. So I wanted to use kind of a lighter weight foundation so that we could really just kind of see how heavy Jeffree Star's concealer is and exactly what it's gonna do for us. Um, another reason I'm excited to review the Jeffree Star concealer besides the fact that I love it and Tati has been raving about it. We love Tati. I, I am very pale and whenever I get concealers, I'm putting this haphazardly all over my face right now. Whenever I use concealers i always buy the lightest shade and they always end up being exactly my skin tone and i would like lighter than my skin tone for my uh concealer slash highlighter just because that's how i like it but i've never been able to find one this is the lightest shade they have this is c1 besides going completely white i, I was tempted to get the white but i really kind of wanted to try 
and see how this would perform. So I'm very interested to see if the lightest shade is light enough for me. Uh, and now I think we're just ready to dive in and try this. Jeffree Star Cosmetics, packaging, beautiful. Also price, $22 I think for this concealer. I'm very excited to use it. This is cheaper than, can we talk about this for a second? The Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, or concealer. Look, this looks like a princess wand, and this... I'm not trying to start anything here. Um, I like the Tarte Shape Tape, so... I don't know. But alright, uh, you're here to watch me put this on my face, so let's do that. Okay, this is an interesting um, shape for a concealer wand, but we'll just go for it. Oh. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, all right. Um, a lot of people, including Jeffrey, have said that this uh, applicator is very good because you don't have to re-dip into the product. So that's true so far. I just put it all over where I would usually put concealer. And I did not have to re-dip, so off to a good start then. Just blend it in and see what happens. So this is lighter than my skin tone. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Amen, Jesus! I've been waiting so long for a concealer shade that is lighter than my skin tone. Even the Tarte Shape Tape in fair beige i want to say this is their lightest color if i'm wrong i'm sorry is my exact skin tone like watch this like look at that that is my skin tone this is just gonna turn into comparing tarp shape tape and uh jeffree star concealer ready now let's let's do the under eyes Who do you think is the So that had a great brightening effect. Let's do this side now. Um, it's so nice to have a concealer light enough for my skin tone. So I don't know with the lighting if you're going to be able to see, but my under eye bags are covered. It feels fine. It feels great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go um, contour my face and um, kind of get it ready and then we'll come back and we'll try out the setting powder. Just finished contouring my face. I use both a cream contour and a powder contour if you're curious. Now let's get into the Jeffree Star setting powder. I got the shade Rose. Oh. Um. Oh. Okay. So I have yet to open it. Like you can see the sticker right there. And it's covered in the powder. So that's an interesting sign because it hasn't been opened yet, but there is powder everywhere. That's kind of weird. I'll admit that there's like powder everywhere and I haven't even taken off this sticker yet. Cause I literally, I have not opened this yet. Like, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure it's okay to use because like the sticker's still on it. But the fact that there is powder everywhere makes me kind of concerned. And it makes me concerned mostly just because Jeffrey talked specifically about this that his powders didn't make a mess because they have this little mechanism that opens and closes but while other powders do like for example my airspun face powder you open it and it's a mess but it never claimed not to be a mess so like look at powder just flew everywhere <laughs> 
that's kind of weird that it has the powder all over all over already but I guess we'll still try it I'm going to take the sticker off now for the first time you can see okay well powder went everywhere there but like that was the first time taking off the sticker if I were to if someone were to say I fake this somehow let's try putting back the sticker and it's not even sticky anymore and it doesn't make that same sound again that sticky sound that when it first came off so that's what it looks like when you take it off let's see how well the the little closing thing works without the sticker on it okay so powder kind of flew everywhere a little bit all right let's just try this out and just see what happens so for setting my under eyes and my eyes i usually use a brush kind of like this this is literally just an elf powder brush got some on there and let's just pat it on the other under eyes now i would like to say that a lot of beauty gurus bake now maybe i'm doing it wrong but I'm going to tell you here and now that you do not need to bake your eyeshadow. Or not your eyeshadow, your powder. And baking is when you take a sponge and you put it on your under eyes and like put a ton on and leave it. What I notice when I do something like that, when I take it off, especially if you're going to be out in the sun where there's like bright lights and it's easy to see your makeup mistakes. Now I'm just going to take more powder with a regular powder brush. Uh, this is from like Wet n Wild, I think, and just put it all over my face. When I do that, you can see the powder. My skin looks awful. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing with makeup and um, it's really noticeable and you just look powdery and over cakey. So I am here to say that I don't think it's necessary to bake unless somehow I'm just doing it wrong. But I think it's just an extra step that takes way too long. Yeah, so the powder is officially all over my face. We're going to close this little thing up, but apparently it doesn't work very well. I feel so bad for like not giving Jeffrey a good review on something, but kind of salty about the powder a little bit just because he went out of his way to say that I wouldn't get anywhere. And it was everywhere before I even took the freaking sticker of the setting powder off. All right, well, let's just set my face with some setting spray. I'm using the ColourPop Face Setting Spray All Star. Uh, we'll wait for that to dry for a second. Overall, my makeup looks good. I really enjoyed the concealer. I love that it was a light enough shade to fit me. I love the packaging. I am going to continue to use this a lot. On the other hand, the setting powder, I am kind of... I don't know. I don't know what to think of the setting powder. Is it, I think somebody said that it, it's supposed to have a scent to it, too. I don't really smell anything. But anyway, is the setting powder necessary? I think I could have put a different powder on and my face would still feel set the same. Um, I don't know. I mean, my skin looks good. Of course, it's going to go look good with, like, some studio lighting like I have right now. But, yeah, I just, I really like the concealer. And I don't, I feel weird giving Jeffrey like, a bad-ish review on something. Because if you've seen my other Jeffree Star videos, I love Jeffree. And I love Jeffree's product. Like, I'm one of the first people to have a blue blood palette. Because I literally sat there making sure that I would get one because uh, I'm such a fan of his products. So I I don't know because I want to like this, but is it worth the price? I don't know. It feels like the same consistency as like my cheap CoverGirl product. 
I mean, her packet, the CoverGirl packaging isn't as pretty, but as this, because this is gorgeous, it'll be nice to have in my collection and say, oh, I have a Jeffree Star setting powder, but it got everywhere before I even opened it. And that usually doesn't happen when I get a setting powder until I take the sticker off at least. Yeah, it. there's could be a lot of reasons why it was open like that. It could be somehow my fault, who knows. Um, but anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. If you've tried the new Jeffree Star concealer or setting powder, please comment down below if something similar maybe has happened to you with the setting powder when you ordered it, or just let me know what your thoughts are when you tried it out yourself or what your thoughts are on my look. Just comment down something below about your thoughts. Maybe a little about the Jeffree Star tea that I just created for myself. Um, Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. And thanks for watching. Bye!